Hey guys, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I just got to Reno. I'm fitting all day at a physical therapy clinic called Sports and Performance PT. They specialize in dancers. If you're part of the Reno Ballet community, you probably have seen me because it's a very tight knit community over here. Love fitting up physical therapy offices because if I see an injury, it's very easy to hand them off to the physical therapist. Dr. Carey is not here today, but this is what the office looks like. I love these little pigeons. Look at how cute they are. Okay, good, come down for me. The first dancer that I fitted was an adult dancer and she had arthritis basically everywhere. So on her hands, on her feet, and she had a really difficult time controlling the shoes. So the shoes were a little bit too much for her joints, even though her ankle has pretty good range of motion. She has trouble getting over on her box and she has trouble sickling. She has pretty flat feet, so she was sinking into most of her point shoes. So she had a lot of pressure on her big toe. So I wanted to make sure that she wasn't um, sinking in her shoes either. Uh, the interesting thing about her feet is that when you see her foot flat, it looks like a pretty normal width, but when she puts her foot inside of a point shoe, it shrinks. So she's extremely compressive and she sinks straight down into her shoes. So the two things that I really wanted for her was to one, make sure that she doesn't sink in her point shoes. Two, she's able to control her shoes a little bit better. Uh, she just didn't have a lot of range of motion in a lot of her joints because, um, because of her arthritis, but but I wanted to make sure that she was as comfortable as possible. Yes, that's so much better. Oh man, look at how well I can get over on these. Elsa Cohen. Wow, first position. Time to your other foot. The second dancer that I fitted has beautiful feet, gorgeous flexibility, um, but her left ankle was a lot weaker than her right. And, and it seemed like she was suffering from a lot of problems. She had pain on the top of her ankles as well as the back of her ankles. And I think it was some form of tendonitis, um, which is fairly common for dancers, especially really common for dancers who are really, really flexible. She probably overstretched a lot of the tendons on the top of her ankle because she's so flexible. So I made sure that she was in a shoe that was a little bit more sturdy and I sent her to the PT over here and then she signed up right away for a session because um, she's gonna really have to take care of that because it's only going to get worse if it's not treated already. But definitely get your ankle checked out because I think you have tendonitis. Yeah, and then that's the one that's hurting everywhere. Yeah, it's all yeah. around here. Good job. First position. Turn to your right foot for me. Nice. So beautiful. First position. And then can you go up on Eleve? I just fitted a dancer who has pretty flexible feet and uh, the shoe that she was in right now was breaking way too low. And if you continue to dance um, that way where the shoe is putting so much stress on the forefront of your foot, um, it can lead to a lot of stress fractures. So you wanna make sure that you have enough support and you are breaking it in the correct place. Uh, for dancers that are really, really flexible, they're a little bit more in danger of getting injuries. So I wanna make sure that they have enough support and then they're really lifted in their point shoes. So I gave her a shoe that has a little bit more structure in the box, a little bit more um, uh, stable platform and something that is a little bit harder in the shank. She looked a lot more supportive. Um, if you're breaking really low, you're putting a lot of pressure on your metatarsals. You have to remember that when you're on point, uh, that's three times your body weight that you're balancing. So you don't want to put so much stress on your foot or you're gonna, it's going to lead into a stress fracture. Straighten. Bring your right foot up on point one more time and step up onto both feet. Beautiful. Yeah, you're actually much more supported in this one. I just finished all my fittings in Reno and I'm going to start heading back. The last fitting that I did was a dancer with really beautiful feet, but um, she was having trouble getting over on her point shoes because her shoes were too narrow. Sometimes if you are in a shoe that's the wrong size, even if you are in the perfect shoe for you, um, the shoes are not going to want to do what you want it to do. I sent several dancers today to the PT office. I think it's unfortunate that a lot of dancers have no idea when they are injured because they're taught to push through a lot of injuries. There's a lot of really good resources now, um, but it's important to see someone who understands dancers because 
if they don't know dancers, they misdiagnose a lot of dance injuries that are fairly common in the ballet world. So um, I'm really blessed to work with a lot of physical therapists around the country. Uh, and I'm especially blessed to work with people who are a little bit local so I get to fit out of their clinic. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you guys are injured or if anything's hurting, um, let me know and I can find you someone who knows dancers really well. If you have any questions, if you wanna see different types of point shoe fittings, let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later.